I think unfortunately, um, when I've heard you talk, I hear you actually fighting for black values, black morals, black black people's way of life to improve. But then when I hear people talk about you, there's they would say that you're working against that. Yeah. You know, one of the most popular, um, at least cultural discussions I've seen you do was clearly the one, uh, the Revolt Summit. Mm. And I just remember the clips going viral. And I remember I saw the clip way before I saw the whole thing. And it was just like, it was framed like, yo, T.I. checks, you know, just checks Candace Owen because she was talking crazy. And really, you know, it wasn't until I watched the whole thing, I was like, to be honest, it was really two people on that stage making any sense. Right. right? It was you and clearly Me and Killer, Killer Mike, Mike. Right. right. And, and that's the whole thing. They don't want black people to see the whole thing. They look for these stupid cultural moments like, oh, that's it. That's all we need is that five seconds because God forbid black America hears what everybody in that room heard, by the way. When that when that panel concluded, so many people came up to me in the audience and were like, I've never heard you in full form. Why don't you do more stuff like this? Why don't you know? I actually agree with a lot of what you were saying, because when you hear me in a, in a longer form, then you go, oh, OK, actually, I realize that the media keeps excerpting her and making her sound this way or that way. But why are they doing that is the bigger question. Why I, didn't they let them, that, that run in its entirety? Why weren't the headlines like Killer Mike and Candace, you know, have an incredible discussion about black America, father absence and all of these topics? Why did we let this fool who is the biggest, he is such a fraud. T.I. is just, I was just telling you before we started running, but he, that situation got me so angry because T.I. was the only person that I knew prior to stepping onto that stage. Kanye had introduced us, um, maybe the year prior, we had spoken on the phone for a, a lot, of, like hours on the phone about what our opinions are politically. It felt like he was trying to dunk on you a lot. It was crazy because when I spoke to him on the phone, he was like, I agree with you on this. I agree with you on this. I mean, agreed on everything we talked about. Every no debate. Sing, no debate. The only no thing, pushback. The only thing he says is like, you know, I just, I just can't get behind Trump, right? That was yeah, the yeah, only yeah, okay. thing he ever said on the phone. I can't get behind Trump. Every other topic we talked about Black America, he agreed with, he agreed with. He was so kind. We got on stage and he turned into like a performer. Like he literally put on a performer. So I say now T.I. is a fraud. He's a very little man physically like and mentally he's a small man because to do that for what? There was nothing but in that room. I was not jumping on stage being like vote for Trump. Right. I was not up there like you got to be with Trump or against Trump. We were having a very real honest discussion that black America deserved to have on that stage. Right. That they deserve to listen to and develop opinions. And he halted it by, you know, acting like a goon. The do you feel like you guys were like, I don't know, friends might be a stretch, but like if you guys were talking before, because I felt like he just met you that day. Yeah. And also, I really felt like he just completely hated everything you said. Yeah. And he's a liar. He's a fraud and a liar. So, you know, whenever I see headlines now about him and all the personal stuff he has going on, I'm like, I don't doubt anything because anybody that can move like that, because to me, I don't care what your position is. If you are left and you believe what you say, I respect you for believing it, even if I disagree. He gets out there and says what he doesn't believe, right? And tries to create a moment. And he literally just became a performer on stage. Like, what what does the crowd want? How can I get the crowd hyped up? Even if I have to say stuff that I don't believe. That That is so toxic for the black community. That is th so toxic. I think he, that was also around the time where there was many things that, I don't know if it's still happening now, but it was definitely shown in the media a lot where, you know, incidents with like you know black men and like the police were happening and, like i would always see like a long caption with a ti was right out and i was like oh wow like i think he's kind of he's very interested at least in some of the political ramification of what's happening in the black community so i'm like all right maybe that's where he was angling to i think it, and it's been so interesting watching so many of those people who seemingly was trying to fight that fight. Now they've completely pivoted. Right. You know, like he's doing comedy now. You know, yeah. um, well, not a, saying he's doesn't. A, he's a joke. I mean, like he should be doing comedy. <laughs> That's that is the correct space for him because you're a joke. If you could, if you could spend hours okay. and hours having a conversation, like it's just I don't understand. Did you ever people talk that to him can, again? No. Yeah, because seems, I don't. He seems like a cool guy. He's I, not though. That's what I'm saying to you. He was a cool guy when I spoke to him when there were no cameras running. But if you're that inauthentic and that's how you live your life, I don't know how you sleep. You know what I mean? On the other hand, I didn't know Killer Mike from a hole in the wall. He has been the most authentic, kind, like we respectfully disagree on certain certain circumstances. He's so intelligent. We read all the same books. You know, you will see him putting out different ideas. There are things I disagree with, but I can't not love Killer Mike. Like Killer Mike, honestly, I, I wish I could work with him in a bigger capacity because I think that he is just 
I mean, just, just the way he lives his life. It's just, it's positivity, it's love. He's got friends from all over and he's authentic. And that's what matters most is authenticity. The black community is regularly being served the TIs. That's the problem. Mm. The TIs who will get out and say whatever to you when a microphone is in their face, knowing fully well they don't live that way and they don't believe that. 